to fight. See, what you really need to know when it comes to fighting in this battle, that it has to be a time where you are not yourself. Yeah. 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 This is powerful. Yeah. This is so powerful that you got to shift mm -hmm. from out of your normal mind, mm -hmm. out of your normal way, yeah. and to an empowered way yeah. Yeah. by God. By God. Yes. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Ain't no way in the world you pull the prayer and don't fit it. Come, Come on. on. <laughs> Ain't no way in the world you're supposed to give God pray, hallelujah. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Yeah, yeah. Lord, y'all don't even put both your hands all the way. <laughs> Come on. Come on, Bow. Lord. How you gonna fight an enemy? Y'all ain't talking back to me. Come on. You ready for this? Mm -hmm. They have a zeal, but they deny the power. Come on. You don't believe it's real. Anytime you can stand there and mock. A real worship. Yes, yes, yes. And there's somebody beside you that needs you to worship for real, but come on. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You pretending like. Yes. Come on. Yes. Yes. But there ain't no feeling behind. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. Ain't no empowerment behind. Mm -hmm. There's a difference between anointed and skilled. Yes. Right. And what we gotta learn how to do is be anointed. Yeah. 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 Mm. Gotta learn how to be anointed fighters. And the only way we can learn how to be anointed fighters is we gotta realize that the weapons of our warfare not carnal. So what we're trying to do is fight carnal by trying to fight spiritual battles. Carnal mind. Carnal mind. Come on. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, you can't fight like that. Fight like that. But tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, you got to be empowered by God. You got to be empowered by God. To fight this battle. To fight this battle. See, what suits you might not suit me. And you got to realize that when God places your skill, when God shows you how to do it, he has already given you the victory. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can imagine all of those soldiers that have, that have swords in their hand. Uh -huh. And I can imagine all of those soldiers that had shields and helmets. Yeah. And they looked at David and saw he was running out there with just a slingshot and five smooth stones. Yeah. See, but I'm here to tell you with God before you, he's with you with whatever you got. And he's giving you power over the enemy. How many believers know that you got power over the enemy? And everything that you got is enough to beat the enemy. I'm here to tell you that you are equipped. You are ready, men of God. Get ready because everybody's suit ain't gonna be a suit that you can wear. But you wear the suit that God gave you to the best of your ability. Men of God, you fight this battle like God gave you to fight it. You do what God has shown you to do. You follow your man of God. And I will promise you that the race is not given to the swift nor to the strong. But it's to the one that can endure to the end. If you can just hold on, hold on. I got news for you that God is gonna show up like never before. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, hold on. 
and watch God show up for you. And the Bible says, and the Bible says, the Bible says that even though they didn't think that David was enough, even though they counted him out, even though he was last in line, but God has prepared him to be victorious. I'm here to tell somebody in here, I don't care what they said about you. I don't care how they ran your name in the dirt. God has promised you victory. And you shall have victory. I need about three people to hop out the neighbor and say, neighbor, no matter how big the giant is, God is Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.